We are counting down to Hollywood's biggest night of the year. Of course, we're talking about the Academy Awards happening on Sunday. All week, we are showing you some of our interviews with the nominees. Today, we are taking a look at Lion. It is up for six awards, including Best Picture. All right, so up for acting awards, Dev Patel, Nicole Kidman, they are nominated for their phenomenal performances in this film. I was really lucky to sit down with them not too long ago, as well as the film's director, Garth Davis. P.S., this was his directorial debut, if you can imagine. We all talked about the film and bringing this true story to life. Check this out. Do you have any idea what it's like knowing my real brother and mother spend every day of their lives looking for me? I look at you and I'm thinking, is this Dev? <laughs> and this physical transformation well, that, that we see, who's this guy? <laughs> um, it was the first thing that was very striking for me in this film. Uh, I'd love to know what that journey was like for you. What did you have to do to start to physically undergo this change for this film? I was shooting a film called The Man Who Knew Infinity when I auditioned for this. And uh, I was a little twig with short hair, no, no, no facial hair or anything. You know, my ears were flopping out. And, uh, you know, I, I auditioned for this movie and it was a grueling process. And uh, Garth kind of deconstructs you and puts you back together again in the most beautiful way. It sounds horrific, but it's, you know, it's very emotional. And as soon as I got the role, he's like, I don't want you to cut your hair. You're going to grow your beard and we're going to change you. We're going to take you on a journey. You. you built this relationship with this young Saru, and yeah. I would love to know how you had to prepare for that relationship, how you were you able to create that bond, both prior to filming and then on film? Just the way Garth set it up, we had rehearsal where we spent about a week and just hanging out with the family and hanging out with him and playing cricket and playing soccer because that's how you relate to a five-year-old boy. <laughs> um, and eating together and just basically being around each other. And you have to put that time in with a child. You can't just show up on the set and do it, you know. And, and I just wanted it to be authentic because I really love the power of this story. I had another family, a mother, a brother. I can still see their faces. You worked with Nicole Kidman, Dev Patel, to say the least in this film, as your first feature film. So establishing that relationship with your first go out, literally coming in like a lion, what was that experience like? It was so inspiring to have these, not only just beautiful people work on this film, but I mean, immense talent and everybody on this was so passionate about it so it's just really exciting to see them all just do their best work and um, like Dev Patel just completely transformed for this film um, he just never stopped working and it was just really moving to see him just fly and um, and Nicole Kidman I mean she just was so brave just so brave she took this to places that I really hope she would but she really did it was I mean I, what can I say I'm very humbled and lucky I always thought that I could keep this family together. I'm always curious about the tone, the atmosphere to get into that place and what it's like after you film some of these scenes as an actor. I think I really try to just absorb it and stay in it and stay um, unaware of the result and just real and true to the emotions and I try to just feel and I feel my way through it. Uh, what an astounding performance between mm. the two of you as well. What was that like working with Dev? Um, it was just great to see him as a man, you know, this beautiful, um, open-hearted, really present man. And, and I also think he and Garth had a very, very special connection. But he's so easy to be around and he's so funny. And he's gorgeous, isn't he? He's, he hurt. looks like a lion, <laughs> <laughs> I kept does. saying. <laughs> My lion boy. Working with the formidable Nicole Kidman, what yeah. was that experience like for God, you? It's a blessing. She's just a beautiful human being inside and out and so generous and I can't stop singing her praises. I, I was, I'm really lucky to have sh you know, shared a screen with her. Good do? Good do? Now let's talk about the bigger story here, the true story, and staggering numbers of 80,000 plus children a year go missing in mm -hmm. India. And this film is not just this work of art to tell the story, you're going beyond that. Tell us how. Probably not something I was that conscious of at the time, but when I 
watched the first edit, I realised it's actually a really political film and it's really just bringing people's awareness to how vulnerable children are in India and, and probably the rest of the world and we really can be doing more, if that makes any sense, and I, I just found it it's very heartbreaking. Uh, you know, I think there's, hopefully this will bring about a dialogue, um, a, a kind of a sensible dialogue about overcoming some of those hurdles and trying to, you know, bring some sort of, I don't know, um, safe harbour to these children. Wow, and as we mentioned, Lion is up for six Academy Awards. Another film up for six, Manchester by the Sea. And tomorrow, we'll show you our interviews with the film's lead actors, Casey Affleck and Michelle Williams. And don't forget, you can catch the 89th Annual Academy Awards Sunday evening here on CTV. And it all starts with ETOC's Ultimate Oscar Guide, 5 p.m. Eastern. And head over to ctv.ca for local listings. You got all that? We did, yep. yes. But I did want to jump in, yeah. though, because we were supposed to have a little chat yeah. after just that piece there. Um, Garth, um, who was the director of this film, was so moved by what they saw on the streets filming um, Lion that they decided as a cast and as a crew they were going to do more mm -hmm. than just film and tell Saru's story, which is, as we know, a true-to-life story. They have already, to date, raised $250,000 to go to a fund that is going to try to help alleviate what is a massive problem in mm. India, which is 11 million homeless children in addition to the 80,000 a year that simply vanish and disappear and get lost. I hope, yeah. that, so they're doing so much with the show. And, and when you see the movie, I saw it on Friday, you are moved to try and make a difference. It is devastating, like I sobbed the whole time. And even thinking about it, it gets me all worked up because it's, it's awful thinking about these children losing their families and, and we can do more. We can do more to help. So I hope people are just as that, inspired. That's one of the reasons the Oscars are so important. It highlights a film like this that otherwise would get lost in the noise of the box office shuffle. So it would, we're able to elevate it, highlight it, showcase it, and have more people learn about it. Yeah. If there is a win for them, it's going to be an amazing speech. I